Hey everyone. Um, just wanted to start out by saying thank you to everyone for joining me here tonight. Um, I apologize if I'm often looking over to the side. I did have notes because I absolutely am not great at speaking live, but I really wanted to share my story with you. So let me just start out by um, introducing myself. So my name is Amanda and I am a gym owner as well as a trainer. Um, I am a mom to two girls, a 13 year old and an eight year old. Um, I'm a wife, I've been married for 10 years, almost 11. And if you're wondering what anti-diet enthusiast means, it actually means that I absolutely disagree with the world forcing people into restricting themselves um, from certain foods and so on and so forth. Uh, let me, I just want to start a little bit by talking about kind of my story with how I got started. Um, I was actually really resistant at the beginning. Um, I had kind of grouped this in with a whole bunch of other diet companies and um, just didn't really want to take a second look at it. Um, after about a year of resisting, I decided I would kind of, you know, take a little peek, see what it's all about. Thought maybe it was something I could both use for my family and in my gym. Um, and as I started to look into it, I did learn that it was actually so much more than a diet company or any of those things. So um, I really started to see changes in my family and in myself after I dropped that resistance and decided to actually give it a try. Um, so with my girls, who I had mentioned before, were 13 and 8. Um, as you can imagine, having a teenager and getting them to eat healthy food isn't always the easiest. So again, it wasn't easy to get them started on this, but now that they are doing it, um, I find that they're actually eating more fruits and vegetables than they ever were before. Um, they're actually interested in eating healthier, which is a really big thing, especially for kids these days. Uh, we do live in the world of fast food, and I don't mean fast food like an apple, I mean fast food like McDonald's, um, whatever other drive through is going these days, and that just seems to be normal. So they're interested in eating healthier, and they also understand the why um, behind making these healthy choices, and they don't, and they relate it to health as opposed to weight loss. So many people wait to make healthy changes until they decide decide that they need to lose weight and really we should be thinking about our health above all else. Um, and it was just such peace of mind knowing that my kids were getting the best nutrition in the world without adding any more fight or stress into our crazy days because I own my own business, my husband owns his own business and our lives are generally pretty crazy in a day so not to have something less, one less thing to worry about is great. Um, speaking of my husband, uh, let's talk about how his life has changed with these. Uh, he was pretty much the chronically sick all winter guy. And like I said, we were married for 10 years and we dated for 10 years before that. So, um, I know him pretty well. So he normally would go all winter being sick every other week. Um, we should have bought stocks and Tylenol cold and flu because he was buying it every other week. And if you've ever bought Tylenol cold and flu, then you know that it's somewhere around $25 a box. So if you're buying a couple of those a week, it gets pretty expensive. Um, so this winter is the first time ever that he went all winter without being sick. Not once, not a sore throat, not a sniffle, nothing. So that was pretty amazing for him. Um, and that kind of encouraged him to change some other things in his life, so that was good. And it, he also noticed um, a big increase in his energy. So he works really long days, he works in the bush, so usually he's up around 4 a.m. And he, to go to work for 6 a.m. and he gets back home around 6, 5.36. So those are really long work days and he would normally just go straight to bed when he got home. Luckily that's all changed around too, so we actually get him for a couple hours in the evening, so that's nice. And it's actually done something that I haven't seen in a really long time, is that he's committed to it. So, I mean, even when he went on a guy's fishing trip um, a couple weeks ago, he said, I gotta pack my Juice Plus, I gotta take it with me, I don't wanna miss it while I'm away. So, if any of you have ever had to look after a man in your life, you know that's pretty um, amazing. And then for myself, as I mentioned, I was pretty resistant to even trying it, so I kind of went into it with the mindset of, this isn't going to do anything for me, but whatever, I'll give it a try. Um, I'm already the picture of health. I mean, I eat really well, and I exercise, and I just don't see how this could add any more benefit to my life. So I was actually shocked when in the first week I started noticing changes. Um, a big one was my energy, so people were actually commenting that I was not tired, looking tired all the time, which... I guess is a compliment and I wasn't yawning um, as much and these sorts of things. And then on top of that there's the added bonuses of, I mean, less belly bloat because 
again, I, my digestive system was just starting to work better, um, clearer skin. I quite often would have breakouts, which is really embarrassing. Uh, being in my 30s I would, and being the face of a business, it would be nice if my face wasn't breaking out all the time. So that was a big change. Um, better sleep. Uh, better recovery from my workouts which means less muscle soreness so I went from you know the whole I can't sit on the toilet today to oh like my legs are fine who knew like I had no idea that that was actually all linked to your nutrition and how you're eating I thought that people should just be working out so hard um, that they should feel the pain right and I think a lot of us have that kind of mindset so that was a big change um, and then just since starting this, our whole house has really decreased um, the toxins that we're eating in our food. So a lot less processed food, a lot less junk. Um, and that's coming from a house that was already p pretty healthy, so we could still make changes there. Our house became completely dairy-free. Um, and we eat one to two meatless meals a week, which is a really, really big accomplishment as um, we come from a long line of hunters, so be eating one to two meatless meals a week is a big accomplishment for everybody. And we're just happier and healthier, so that's a really nice thing to see when you're raising a young family. The happier part kind of brings me to the next thing that I want to talk a little bit more about, which is um, the business side of this, because it's great that it's changed my health, and I love sharing that with people. But the biggest thing is that it's really changed my entire life, and I, I know you hear that all the time, but this changed my life. It, it made all of the difference. Um, as I mentioned before, I own a gym, which I've owned for six years, um, helping people be um, healthier and happier has always kind of been my passion in life. I love it. Um, I love making people's day. I love helping them make changes. I love all of those things. And as a gym owner, I felt I was doing exactly that. I was spending my days helping people change their lives and get stronger. What I wasn't realizing is that all of this was kind of coming at the cost of my own health and my own happiness. Um, and the more I learned about this company, the more I seen just how in line our values and our personal beliefs actually were. Um, I don't tend to focus a lot on numbers. Um, it's not really part of my training philosophy to have clients focus on weight loss or, you know, tying their happiness to their waist size or any of that. I'm going to say BS because I'm not supposed to swear, so I'm trying really hard not to. Um, but I did want to share just a couple important numbers with you. Um, so 60 to 70, that's how many hours per week I was spending training, marketing, running my gym, all the things that you would do to run your own business with um, very little help from employees because I just didn't have the money to hire people. Four, that's the number of hours per day I was seeing my kids. <clears throat> Eight, that's the number of credit cards I racked up to keep my business running. Negative 1,200, that's the income that I made for the year of 2017. 60, that's the income that I made for the year of 2018. So those are some pretty crazy numbers. <clears throat> and I love helping people, but it's pretty apparent that my passion for that was sucking me dry and robbing me of so much more than just money. It was robbing me of time and all at the cost of what? Um, so financial stress, constantly being at everyone's beck and call because I just so desperately needed this money to keep the gym running. Uh, home stress from not being around for my girls or my husband and I wasn't making any contributions financially so that as you can imagine is another big stressor. So I had said some, at some point I had become this stressed out, overworked, emotional, negative maniac we'll say with a very guilty mom conscience. This business showed me that it didn't need to be that way. Um, it showed me that I can live my passion without all that stress. It showed me that I can change people's lives without sacrificing my own life. It showed me that I can be my best self without sacrificing my family. <clears throat> and those three things mean the absolute world to me. So all of this was a kind of a catalyst for what's happening in my life right now. I finally made the leap to leave a life that really wasn't serving me. So in 17 days, the gym will close, which is hard. Change is hard, but it's absolutely necessary as we grow into better people um, doing better with our lives. And if you asked me one year ago, if I seen myself here, I would say absolutely not. I was just kind of waiting around for something to give, but nothing was happening. And who really wants to live their life like that? I mean, what if you could change your health? What if you could change your life? 
What if you could change other people's lives? Um, what if? Two of the most powerful words in the world, and it's really up to you to take hold of that power. Um, and that's all I have to say tonight. Um, I felt like I talked really fast. I'm sorry if I was talking too fast. I get a little bit nervous talking live. Um, but thank you so, so much for stopping in and listening to what I had to say. And if this is something you're thinking about, try it. Because what if? You just don't know. Have a great night. Bye.